What's up, guys? You may have noticed that Streamlabs OBS is trending on Twitter, and I'm about to fill you in on why. So if you guys aren't aware, Streamlabs OBS or Slobs is a streaming software that's really common for Twitch streamers to use. Um, it has It's best known for having a very easy to use interface that eats CPU. Um, recently, it's come to forward that they have been practicing some not so great business tactics, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So on November 16th, Streamlabs announced that they would be doing console integration. And between then and now, which has only been about two days, they have been called up by another company called Lightstream for stealing their interface. Um, as you can see from the tweet, a Streamlabs and Lightstream look almost exactly the same, except they each have their own branding. Um, so not only is this stolen, it is a paywalled content. So Streamlabs expects you to pay for content that they stole. The next little thing that has come to light because of Lightstream calling out slobs is that apparently their name is stolen. OBS um, has come forward and said that when Streamlabs approached them about using their name in their software, they were asked explicitly not to. Now, at this point in time, Streamlabs did announce on their Twitter that they are working on removing the OBS from their name, but it's pretty shocking. And I can't really say that Streamlabs stole the OBS software because it is open source, um, basically meaning it's free for anybody to use, but it is kind of sketch that they basically just threw a quick little interface on it and have charged people basically to use OBS, which is a free software. And to top everything off, it seems that Slobs is charging users for their Prime service without their knowledge and consent. Um, I am Brandon tweeted out about how he was getting charged for Prime. Um, he's a fairly well-known streamer on Twitter. Uh, he is a Twitch partner, but other users in this thread have come forward also saying that they have been charged for it without their consent. Now, it does seem that if you do approach Streamlabs, they are refunding people. Um, different users have reported different levels of fight between Streamlabs OBS. But if you've ever clicked on the Prime symbol or have your credit card information attached to Streamlabs OBS, uh, I would definitely recommend checking your bank accounts to see if they are charging you um, because apparently the process to sign up for their Prime subscription does not make it obvious of whether or not you actually have or have not, um, which is kind of crazy. So I guess if you were ever looking for a reason to switch from Streamlabs to any other piece of software, now would be the perfect time to. Uh, personally, I use OBS with the Stream Elements overlay on it. Um, I think it's so easy, but I do know that there is kind of a lack of information out there in terms of how to use Stream Elements, or OBS Live is what the extension is called. So if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. Um, I can totally do some tutorials if you guys have any questions on how to use OBS Live. I think it's really great, but I will admit that the transition from Streamlabs um, to OBS Live was a bit difficult, but it's definitely worth it in the end. I love using Stream Elements. I think it's a much better service. Um, and if you guys are unaware, They've actually done, I believe, it was a $100 million investment into tools. So I think that Stream Elements is going to come forward a lot better tools and stuff coming forward. But again, yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. Um, I can totally make a tutorial. And if you found this video interesting or helpful or informative, please like and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you guys more content. <laughs>